Uh, but one of our guests uh, was Dr. Anthony Roba, and he was on with John Rose because he has been on a juice fast the last three weeks. So, good morning, uh, Dr. Roba. I know you're in uh, Dallas at a conference, but you slipped out to share with us because you're so enthusiastic. Good morning, Dr. Roba. Good morning, Dennis. How are you? We're great, and we understand you're feeling great, and we want you to share your health progress on what it's been like to go on a juice fast for three weeks. Well, it's, it's been it's been an amazing process. Uh, when I started, I was very uh, skeptical because you know I've never gone uh, half a day without eating, and uh, to think to think that I could do two three weeks of uh, juicing without eating any food was um, almost impossible. But but I did it, and uh, the res- the the response I'm getting is just my mind boggling. That's all I can say. My uh, I feel wonderful. Uh, my energy levels are much better. Uh, my skin, I used to get dry skin. It's gone. Um, I don't sleep as much as I used to because I don't need to. But more than anything else, like I mentioned last week, um, I have a fam- family history of high blood pressure, and I've been running uh, no- uh, upper normal limits and sometimes even uh, bo- bordering on uh, pure hypertension hypertensive levels and uh, I have dropped 20 points on both my systolic and diastolic to the point where I've had to take the, my blood pressure about 10 times just to make sure because I can't believe it. Uh, it it's been amazing and uh, one thing that I didn't uh, talk about last week which I did today, uh, I mean two days ago, is I had my cholesterol checked and um, Again, I have a, I, I have my, all my family has uh, cholesterol problems. My father, my my grandparents have had it, and I've had problems. I've had really high cholesterol levels, and I had it checked a few days ago, and it's just, it's I, I've dropped by a hundred points. Oh so I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's it's an amazing, amazing process. It's you told me Saturday thing. that you felt like a medical miracle, and you're an emergency room physician, and you're dealing with patients day in and day every out. Every day, every day. And I'll tell you this much. I mean, almost any physician can tell you, uh, taking monotherapy, hypertensive medications, you know, a lot of times you can't even drop the blood pressure by 20 points. And here I am just taking regular... I mean, I mean, uh, not even taking medication and just just on a on a proper diet. Uh, I have lost. I have I have dropped my blood pressure to what I used to have when I was in my teens. <laughs> and and I am, yeah. I'm in. You know, I'm not that young anymore. So I I cannot tell you how amazing this has been. I have never felt this good. I used to have headaches. I don't have headaches anymore. I used to have back aches. Um, I haven't had them in, in three weeks. I, I'm just, I'm just, I cannot tell you how amazed I am with this, uh, this whole process. And in fact, I'm so impressed with it that I've decided, um, to go, you know, I'm already a vegan, but I want to, I'm, I'm seriously considering going raw vegan because I, I really believe that, uh, uh, cooking food takes away all the enzymes and the isoflavins and the um, I mean destroys the all the nutrients uh, that the, that the vegetables product provide us. So I will try my best to be a raw, a raw vegan, but um, with with the way things have gone, I I I, I am seriously considering it. And you know, I used to drink coffee. I never thought I could ever give up coffee. I can't. I haven't even. I. I the last time I drank coffee was the second day I was on my juice diet, and since then I I, I don't even think about it, and I have not had any headaches. Um, I went to a meeting, and there was a, a dinner meeting, and we were sitting around. Everybody was eating, you know, their food, and I was just I was just drinking on uh, water, and uh, they brought out some wine, and I used to love wine. Now. I mean, even the taste, I mean, the smell of wine was, like, bothering me. So mm-hmm. I can't stand alcohol. I can't stand coffee. I mean, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, it'll go right. Yeah, all those things that were bad for you, all, anything that, that contains all those toxins, once you're once you're used to, your body's ready to receive all those nutrients, and it's ready, and then you give it something that it doesn't need, and it and it takes it so fast, you, uh, you really react. You really don't like it. You know, 
Mm. Not many things in life impress me that much anymore. I mean, it's just, you know, something this drastic doesn't happen on a regular basis. And when, what, I've, what I've seen in the last three weeks and what I've learned in the last three weeks is like, it's almost a life-changing experience. And I have, you know, and, and this is coming from a person who's already been a vegan for years. Uh, and this is a step further, a step mm. upward to... Um, mm. Connecting on a spiritual level with the universe and eat and and taking care of your body, taking care of your your mind and, and your this this uh, this uh, temple that we call the body. I want all people out there who are suffering from these chronic diseases to know there's an, another way. There's another choice. Thank you, Doctor. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye.